had a whole big pile of gold as big as his head. My precious. What are you doing? What do you think a cenote is? Huh? Um, ice. I'm not gonna show you, except for- It's top secret. It smells like rotten mayonnaise. And then you're gonna lose everybody. have going on this morning? I, I did this and then I put the car right here then realized we just got fired by this guy and then he went and he got something. The rock slide. Another fairy tale for literature, Hans and Luck. Tell me what you thought about that story with Hans. That was weird because he had a whole big pile of gold as big as his head. And then he traded it for a horse and then a cow. And then he traded that cow for a pig and then he traded that pig for a swan. So what do you think about his trade? And then he traded that swan for a lump of, what was it? Oh, for a grindstone. A grindstone. And then he dropped it down a well and then he was all happy because he didn't have to carry it anymore. So he didn't have anything in the end, did no. he? No. But he was happy. Yeah. So what do you think about that? I think it was strange because he could have bought the food with the lump of coal and not buy all that all those animals. Yeah, it's kind of silly, but there's a moral to the story. What? Do you know what the moral is? Is that you don't have to have things to bring you happiness. He was happy just as he was. But you still think it's a silly trait, don't you? Yeah. I'm playing the racing game, but you have to win to get a new car, so you, you can get whatever car you want. So, and then if you win it, you get gas, and then then they just if you um if the car blows up, then they break, and then you, then you didn't go, you don't get anything, and then they just have to restart. Pigs. 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 Good job. Cups. 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 Good job. To copy this sentence as you see it, so it says, the feathered folk in Pleasant Valley were all a flutter. So why do you see something in here that's a little bit different in the middle of the sentence? What do you see? We know that a capital goes at the beginning, right? So what's here? Why is Pleasant Valley capitalized, do you know? Because it's a place. Right, because it's a specific name of a place, right? What's our ending punctuation mark that period. we have here? A period. Very, very good. Oh, Dad's bringing a fresh snack. Pineapple. My fresh pineapple. Fresh pineapple. Oh, that looks so Mommy, good. Mommy, I know what it is. It's a six. It is. You're doing a really good job. Hey, it's close to my age. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out really nice, Rhea. You did a good job. A nice work on your copy. Yeah. Yummy macaroni for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You love macaroni, don't you? Mm, yeah. Well, that's a lot of macaroni. Yum. I'm gonna eat it. No. <laughs> My precious. What are you doing? Go to the table, you weirdo. This may look like a random jumble of pieces and some rotating part, but this is a shoulder, and this is an elbow, and this is an arm. So you made you made an arm out of Legos? Yes. Forty six plus forty six plus twenty nine plus twenty nine is equal to These guys 
are watching. What are you watching, Ray? We're watching, uh, I can't. <laughs> what is it called? Jumanji. Oh, you said it. are doing a science experiment. Are you excited? Yeah! So we're gonna Hi do a- guys. So we're Good gonna morning. do a science experiment because we are Good studying- morning. We I are studying- I love the part of your camera, Mom, because there's a big top of it. And they have black stuff in there. So we're gonna do an experiment about solving dissolving. Yeah. So you, Zane, and you, Ireland, are getting ready to study Whoa. the ancient Maya culture, which you started already today, and Zane, you're gonna start. Braxton, you just finished up the ancient Mayan culture, right? Yes. So we learned about something called cenote. So this is gonna be new to Zane and Ireland. I know stuff about cenotes. What do you know about cenotes? Um, they are white. Something you need no no water stuff. They have something to do with water. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ireland, what do you think a cenote is? I'm pretty sure it's a lake on the bottom of a lake. Um, you're lake you're getting on the bottom close. of the ocean. Eh, not quite. Now you're getting a little River further. River on away. the bottom of the ocean. Those are super. River is close. Aspen, what do you think a cenote is? Huh? Um. You think it's ice? Braxton, you want to tell everybody what a cenote is? A cenote is a formation that happens when rock erodes and it forms a giant hollow hole. Oh wait, and rock I know that. forms in the bottom. Not just rock, what kind of rock? Limestone. Limestone rock. Do you ever I know about this? It, 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 clum, 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 it was in cocoa. Clum, all right, guys, so there are four different stages of cenote. We have the solution cavern, a young cenote, a mature cenote, and a dry cenote. What were cenotes important for, Braxton? Cenotes were important for... I put my pop right Sacrifices. Yeah. Sacrifice, they were also important for water, correct? Yes. That's how they got their drinking water because there wasn't large supplies of it. So a cenote is basically an underground river. We have some different materials here to learn how a cenote is made. It flows through calcite, it dissolves the limestone because it becomes acidic. And that's how the cenote is formed. So we have two graduated cylinders of water right here. We've got a regular rock that we got from outside, and then we have a piece of chalk because chalk is made from limestone. Then over here we have two graduated cylinders of vinegar. Vinegar is a natural acid. And we have the same type of rock and another piece of chalk. So we're gonna see what happens when we just put regular water on a rock, and then vinegar on a rock, and then when we put water on limestone, and then vinegar on limestone, okay? Aspen, you can take the water and put it on the rocks, so check out what's gonna happen. You get to pour it on, so we have the same amount of water and vinegar in each one. What do I have to take it out? Go ahead and put it in the bowl, and then you're gonna pour the water on, and we're gonna see if anything happens, see if it dissolves. Nothing. Nothing happened, did it? No! No. Ireland, you're gonna take the water and pour it on. I know it's gonna dissolve. The okay. chalk, do you think it's gonna dissolve? Whoa. Like, like, what happened? It like got soft. It got soft, but did it dissolve? No. No. Fizzing. It's fizzing. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but listen, I'm gonna put the microphone right by it. So, the kids discovered that if you put water on the limestone, it makes what? It makes it dissolve. It didn't dissolve, but it makes what? Fizzing. A fizzing sound, doesn't it? Okay, so Zane, you're gonna pour vinegar on the rock. Look over here, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay. Whoa. It just turned a different color. Just turned a different color, but nothing happened to what the rock, did it? With the All right, Braxton. I want to do the vinegar on the chalk. Vinegar on chalk. Oh, let's see. What this. happened? I think it's going to dissolve. 
Wait, a chunk of rock is just floating in there. Whoa. What happened? Like got all dirty. It's bubbling. Oh, <laughs> and then it stinks, doesn't it? It smells so bad. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh. I think we can mark that yeah. as a success. It, it's. <coughs> I can't <breathe. coughs> Look at the bottom. <coughs> it's, it smells like rotten mayonnaise. It does. Well, look at the bottom. It smells like oh. a rotten so egg. So what's salad. happening at the bottom, Zane? Chunks of it is falling off. It so is dissolving. It's dissolving. Bye, isn't it? Mine is a little black. Did it turn black? Look at this, you guys. So you can see. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. Black. Listen to it. See, it's dissolving. But that didn't happen with our water solution, did it? No. It didn't dissolve. It made it wait, soft. Wait, wait, wait. It sucked up the water. It Look. sucked up the water? Yeah, it did take some water. It's like that one. Because limestone's porous. Yeah, the water is shorter. So we're going to leave this. And we're gonna check it see later tonight and see what happens, oh, you guys. Oh, we're leaving it set? We're gonna put it up either way. But we're gonna see what happens to our limestone at the end of the right, night. guys, so I have to show you. We had to run and grab a soda at the gas station. And Zane and I were doing our school. And I said before I left, do a couple of pages. Um, he had some math and spelling practice to do. And I come home and I see this. It says, look at the back. And on the back, he wrote this, look at this. I love you so much. Isn't that sweet? All right, so Zane and I are finishing up his school day. You're and gonna Matt... get a sneak peek of my book. Yes, well, we're not gonna tell him yet till it's all done. We're not gonna show you, except for- It's top secret, We'll show you guys. the title in the first sentence. Yes, his book is titled, what? What's your book titled? Oop, don't show him the rest. What's it titled? My Day on the Mountain. Yep, his day on a mountain. So you guys, we're working on the rough draft and Zane's actually gonna learn what it takes to write a story and try to publish it. So that's what we're working on for language arts. But Matt brought us dinner in here because this is a little bit of a lengthy project today. He brought us dinner also, in and we are having... I made a transformer. Oh yeah, it's so cool, check that out. It, it will flip these out and it flies away. But if it's in the water... If it's in the water, look. Look, you guys, isn't that pretty? So remember I was showing you the Easter decor hall? That's our table setting. I think that turned out so pretty. So T had that yellow ribbon, and then we put the picks in and the flowers, and there's our bunnies, and there is the top of our fish tank. I think that turned out so cute. I am getting ready to talk Miss Rhea into bed because she is Super tired, aren't you? <laughs> Good night, Miss Rhea. Good night, mommy. So that's two down. A couple more to go. I've got some tired kids today. They worked hard. I'm really proud of them. <laughs> and I've got two playing a video game. If you can hear them screaming in the background. So they have. Mom and Dad have decided to put time limits on. So they have about probably about 15 minutes left and they were not allowed to play all day because we want to get them away from playing electronics all the time and more into playing with their toys and just doing more stuff like that. Summer's coming up, lots of outdoor activities which we're super excited about to take you guys with us to some of those. So yeah, that's what's been going on with the kids in the house. All right, so we are getting ready to play a hot and heavy game of candy Mama, Mama, where's the marker? We need markers to write. No. We don't need markers for this one. We don't have to write for this one. Yeah, we do. Anyway, Skylar is joining us for a game of Candyland. And we too. You playing, Zane? Who's gonna win? Me. But me. I would have. You. Pudi yeah. would have won right away. I if we, Skylar. Luckily, Skylar checked because Pudi would have run won right away because ice cream was right at the front and all the good ones were right at the front. <laughs> yeah. Is that your? Is that gonna be your win chant? Yeah, and then you're gonna lose, everybody. That's mine. Red, but he got double red, so he should be here. No, he's just right here. You called it right. You won. We're going for well, seconds now. You know Who's what? gonna get I'm seconds? 